what's up folks this is gk so often times you must have watched a lot of devops videos where the emphasis is about the importance of automation in devops and if you if you have heard from someone that automation is not that important to learn devops then they must be misleading you because like i've said in my previous videos automation is very important and at least you have to learn basics of shell scripting if you want to become a good devops engineer but you must be having this question like okay i've learned linux shell scripting or you know i know a little bit of python but where exactly this is used in devops so what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to break this down into multiple tasks and where the task would fall into or where the task would exactly fall in as part of the ci cd pipeline and what type of scripting will be used in that task now for those who are already in devops or experienced in devops if i'm missing something in these tasks please let me know in the comment section or contribute to the community here so that people who are watching this video can also learn what i'm missing or you know from uh, your experience so now let's start with the build process so during build a lot of people will do maven or gradle build and then there might be node js build or npm build so these are the commands that are used usually used and these are also configured as part of the ci pipeline in jenkins or github actions or gitlab ci so there you will be using a normal shell script a common shell command to to build the code so that's during the build process now during the deployment process so if you're using a tool like ansible then obviously you would be using a yaml based ansible uh, syntax to write the ansible playbook or if you are using a normal shell based deployment to deploy a, a java web web application you you might have to use a shell script as well so that's the type of the script so here we talking about the task which is a deployment the type of the task could be java application deployment or you know deploying a another type of application uh, the type of the script would be shell or ansible now another task is linux process management uh, like querying the linux processes in the operating system so there we would be using shell scripting like checking the process id or checking the virtual memory or if you are writing a shell script and setting that as part of the cron to monitor this then you might be using shell script a lot and often times there are people who might be using python as well if they are more familiar with python but at least you have to know shell and the third type of the task is package management where you would be using the script type as shell or ansible so you would be installing the package manager and then configuration management here so manage state of the package and all those things all right so moving on now if you are in a company and if you are working in the operation side of devops and you are told to monitor something okay then you would have to write a monitoring script that you might have to schedule in the cron okay um, as a cron job running after every 5 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever so there you would be using either shell script or python script at least shell is needed here and the examples could be the web server web server monitoring if web server is down or log querying monitoring and memory monitoring database monitoring process monitoring or disk based monitoring but having said that so these days there are a lot of good apm platforms or you know a monitoring platforms like datadog or um, other monitoring platforms like prometheus they have better ways of monitoring monitoring your infrastructure so you might get away from writing any custom scripts or shell scripts there so most of the time it will be out of the box from the platform so you don't have to do much if you have if you are using a platform in a company so moving on now let's say that you have to write file system utilities such as reading content of a file and parse query parse a file or remove unwanted file from a system or querying some type of i have written it have written it here uh, querying like what is the file type now these are sort of ad hoc scripts that you might have to write using shell okay and and that's why in the devops interviews i have faced in past or like i was saying to you guys in my previous videos as well that 
these are commonly asked questions like you know um, if you say that you know shell scripting when you are attending a devops interview like i've said you know you must say that you know shell scripting or little bit of python if not it will be very difficult and they might move on to the next candidate so let's say if you know if you say that you know shell then uh, the question would be can you f read the contents of a file okay can you um, filter some words out of the file and then put it into some other file so these are the commands that they might ask or these are the common scripts that they might ask you to write all right so uh, this is a important thing but a very rare scenario or some companies might be who are using ansible extensively they might write some custom modules that are not that are not part of ansible library by default so as you know in ansible we have a lot of modules like uh, like a package module or yum module and there are many predefined modules so you can just use them to write the playbook but often times let's say in a company you have to write a custom module that is not part of the library that's when you have to use python to write it in ansible so now let's say that your task is to write a jenkins pipeline then this part is much easier my like gitlab pipeline or jenkins pipeline or github actions because they have their own dsl have to follow the documentation and write it there but then um, there might be situations where you have to call the shell script using the dsl using uh, the jenkins pipeline or gitlab actions or github actions or gitlab ci or github actions and that's where you will use shell or python again okay now another task is report creation and sending an email so let's say you are supposed to send an email uh, then you will either use python or shell again that could be sending a monitoring report or file system report or custom application report now this might be little complex task where if you are asked to write a tools api wrapper client you know using the gitlab apis to manage the users and roles or gitlab apis to read repos commits for analytics or jenkins job remote execution using jenkins api automation of jira issue life cycle management or confluence dynamic page updation using api client and new relic alerts processing using rest api so these are some of the things that at least i have collected based out of my previous experience and uh, people who have contributed who have contributed to this uh, video so uh, this here what you would do is that you would be using the apis of the platform the platform apis and then writing your python to call those apis and do some custom jobs that are not part of the platform or that are not given to you by default okay like like i've listed here some of the tasks that you might have to do and that's where you would use python more than shell scripting since you are a devops engineer and you would be joining in a company where they are trying to work on different cloud service providers like aws or gcp so you will be given a task to automate certain things using the boto3 framework of aws or gcp's sdk uh, by default you know you will see a lot of good examples that are shown on the on the website of the cloud service provider itself but even then you might have to you have to even then you have to know how to at least tweak the code and write uh, write these functions in the lambda or cloud function to automate certain tasks like i've said before let's say the task could be as simple as tagging the resources or finding the resources with the tags or terminating the resources that are not following the tags again there are tools for that but again let's say a company is not using the tools and they want to use some custom modules that are built that should be run inside a serverless function then you have to use python for that so these are some of the tasks that i can think of like i've said again if you know many other tasks as part of your job please do contribute and comment here in this video so that uh, others can learn from this video and for those people who are new to devops i highly recommend that at least know a little bit of shell scripting because when you go for interview if you say that you don't know python at least they will ask you how to write like a basic shell script and then you can still get away and get a good devops job so that's all for this video i wanted to share with you all uh, this has been a long pending video from my side thanks again for watching this video take care bye